Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Got uh, Haunted Bookshop in the Wednesday Basket Pipe. The day is pretty much coming to an end here. Work-wise. Thought I'd take a few minutes just to uh, huh, well, check in. Get something off my mind. Get something off my chest. Yeah, it's going to be one of them. That's what Wednesdays are for, right? Before we get into that, I, I'm sure you know this already, but I just want to personally uh, send out my condolences to our friend Corvette Jim uh, on the, the loss of his wife, Miss Cindy, uh, who passed away, I guess it's two days ago now. Uh, Jim, we love you. We're praying for you, buddy. And uh, we know that she has gone home. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a tough, a tough couple of weeks, really. Not for me, not for me personally, but for so many people I know. Uh, there, there's just so many people that are that are going through stuff right now, and you know I'm I'm not going to get into details because they're not my details to get into. But you know I've I know at least four people in in the YouTube pipe community right now that are really dealing with some stuff, and I just talked to another person today that I hadn't talked to in quite a while and found out that he's got some health issues going on in his family that, uh, you know, are thankfully not terribly serious, but are pretty much going to mess up their, their Christmas and, you know, could be serious. And it just, there's just doesn't seem to be an end to it for some reason the, the past few weeks. And I guess, sorry, I forgot my tamper. Frosty. I guess, you know, part of it might just be the, the run down to the end of the year and people are tired and maybe a little bit more susceptible to things. I don't know. I'm babbling at this point. There have been challenges this year, for sure. Um, you know, everybody looks at 2020 as this year from hell, and, I, and I, I said repeatedly that it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Um, it's not fun. We've been through worse. We'll be through worse. Sadly, I, I actually think this year has been worse. I think there's been a lot of things that have been worse. You know, if you just want to focus on COVID, and I don't, but if you did, you know, a lot more people were affected by that this year than last year. I mean, just look at the numbers. You can find them on Google, and it's remarkable. I mean, 2020 looks almost flat compared to 2021. So all the things we're doing that, you know, we're being told are absolutely essential and all that, they don't seem to be doing very much. It hasn't been a good year for a number of reasons. Again, for me personally, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm, you know, quite grateful for, for the life I have and, and everything else. But for a lot of people, that, that's not the case right now. So what set me off is uh, just before I was getting ready to make this, and this was going to just be a cheery little, hey, we're going to do a Christmas thing on Friday. By the way, we're going to do a Christmas thing on Friday. I'll get to that.
But I got this snarky comment on one of my videos, and I get these all the time, and I, I'm not going to give you details or tell you who sent it or anything like that, but, you know, it's just the case of a guy like, ha ha, I know so much more than you, I'm going to show off and look like I'm, I'm better than you kind of comment, and, and it, was, it was stupid. And it just made me realize, you know, you don't know what the person on the other side is going through. There, I, I know just because of the things that I've been experiencing over the past couple of weeks that there's a lot of pain and suffering and grief out there right now. Just in my small circle. And anybody that would, that would just do something that stupid, you know, just sort of randomly attack someone they don't even know. I've never heard of this guy. Just randomly attack them with this this nonsense, and and feel good about it, without knowing what the, the guy on the other end is going through. That is childish, childish to a point where I'm embarrassed for that guy. And if you're watching this, I doubt you are. But if you're watching this, yeah, I think I think it was one of these drive-bys where. You know, a guy just happens on the video because he searched for something else and he watches it and leaves a snarky comment. If you are watching this, you know, make a bad comment here and I'll block you. I don't care. Uh, you got to think before you talk. And, and even more importantly, you got to think before you type. Words have power. Words have power to lift people up, and words have power to wound people. And we use words to communicate, to, to interact with others. Therefore, any time you're using words, you are either, <clears throat> well, you're communicating, but you can choose whether it's going to be done in a way that lifts that person up or slams them down. And I just don't know why you'd want to go in the latter direction. I don't understand people like that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a saint. You know, I've been angry at people. I've said things that in retrospect I wish I haven't, hadn't said. I don't think I've ever done that here. But in my, my personal life, in my private life, <clears throat> probably in my work life, uh, you know, we're all human. We all, we all make such mistakes. But we just have no idea. You know, we live in a very tiny little bubble. And we think we see the whole world. And we don't. The world is much, much bigger than we are. And, you know, whenever you're, whenever you're feeling good about yourself, just remember that there's somebody somewhere in the world suffering from something. It doesn't really matter what. You know, we're all connected in a way. We're, we're, all, we're all human. We're all part of humanity. And if any one of us is suffering, then we all suffer in a sense. So that, that tempers the, the pride or the, the, the sense of, you know, I'm fantastic. That, that, that should temper that. It doesn't mean you can't have fun. It doesn't mean you can't be happy. You know, it would be ha terrible if you walked around all the time just being glum because you were convinced that somebody somewhere was suffering. That, that's just life. But to go out of your way to cause that, that's, that's much worse. Much, much worse. Ah. Uh, it's the holiday season. We should be reaching out to one another with, with warmth and love and respect and kindness and trying to help one another along in this miserable, 
journey. <laughs> and it is a miserable journey because we live in a broken world and we all hope for something beyond this. But let's face it, we're, this world ain't right. We're stuck with it. But we're all walking that path together. Be nice. Don't don't try to knock the guy next to you off the path. And by the way, this this person today set me off, but there, there's been other examples. And you know, I don't I don't normally get this excited. By the way, this is me excited. I don't normally get this excited over one event, but this has been kind of a series of things. And it's all on the backdrop of all the other stuff that's been going on with friends. Uh, and you folks are probably not aware of any of that. It doesn't matter. You know, not, the point is, the point I want to make is that you don't know what's going on for anyone. And I just hope that you join me in trying to understand people and trying to be that uplifting influence rather than the guy that's pushing them down. That's my rant for the day. So, Friday, uh, we're going to have... I, I couldn't get a Santa Claus. I couldn't get a Santa Claus, so Thatcher the Wonder Dog is going to stand in, and <laughs> she doesn't do a very good interview, so it's just going to be her image. And we're going to do Christmas trivia. Um, this will be this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on this channel. Now, I don't have time and, and or resource to put together a, a giveaway for the, for the trivia, so we're just going to have fun with it. Uh, we'll just, you know, maybe we'll keep track and, and uh, declare a winner who gets the admiration of his peers, or maybe we'll just answer questions and see, see what happens. I don't know. But uh, I'm not going to have any prizes this time. I do in January want to do a giveaway for non-creators. Um, is that better than lurkers? I, I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, I, I didn't the last giveaway. I, I made it just for creators. So I, I want to amend that and make amends with that. Whatever the words are. So I, I do have some plans for that coming up in January. But for... For this, I just wanted to do something fun for Christmas, and uh, we'll we'll do trivia. And uh, I think this is what we did for Halloween, and it was kind of fun. So we'll do this for for Christmas. And of course, the next Friday is Christmas Eve, and I'm not saying I don't want to do a live stream, and I'm not saying you don't want to go to a live stream, but I value my marriage, so I'm not going to do a live stream next Friday. Then. The coming Friday, yes. The following Friday, no. Because it is Christmas Eve. So, where does that put us? Sorry, I should have looked at this before. Excuse me while I consult the calendar. So, let's see. That means, oh, and the following Friday is New Year's Eve. And again, not going to do that. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll do something impromptu between Christmas and New Year just to keep the live stream fires burning and to give us a time to get together. Uh, let me think about that some. Of course, i got to work it around other folks' times and you know find a time that works. But yeah, well, maybe, maybe I can get that. No, no, that's not going to work. Oh, I'll see what I can work out. But at worst... After this Friday, there'll be two weeks where you don't see me on Fridays. Uh, I'll keep doing Sundays and maybe Wednesdays, you know, these, these videos, not live streams. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I am rambling now for sure. Got to go to work tomorrow. And I just had a, I had one meeting on Friday that got canceled. So I'm thinking about taking the day off on Friday 
and that means my vacation will begin a day earlier so happy about that uh, got to make sure I can do it though. and I do have to next Tuesday I've got one meeting that I need to call in for and I swear I am going to turn my computer on five minutes before that meeting call in and as soon as that meeting's over I'm going to turn off the computer and I will not turn it on again until I go back in January because I just need to not work for a while. Looking forward to that. Well folks, thank you for uh, taking the time to hopefully have a pipe with me and listen to me rant and rave a little bit there. I hope the negative didn't overwhelm the message which I wanted to be positive, which is this is this time of year especially, we should be nice. We should be lifting one another up. Smile. It's it's a good thing. Alright, y'all take care and we'll talk soon.